In this video, we're going to look at how to use image overlays in Ecamm and uh, really starting off different ways that you can use this. We call it an image. It isn't, don't just think it's a photo. This might be a, a logo. I'm gonna show you on here some emojis and things or just ways that we would bring screens in similar to how you might do it in a presentation using Keynote. So lots of options with this. Let's jump in and we'll just kind of run through all of them and hopefully by the end of it, uh, you'll see ways that you could be using this. Now, first First of all, let's do that and bring a image in, a photo in. You can see I've got a whole load of assets ready over here. All I need to do is just grab, here's a JPEG image here. I just drag it onto the front, let go of it, and it's brought this thing in. And as you can see, <laughs> so it hasn't quite filled the edges of this screen. I can move it around. It's kind of set it to fit so that the top and bottom are to the right size. But look, as I move this, I can now resize it from the top and bottom. I can actually also go right off the edge here if I wanted to fit it. It used to be years ago uh, in Ecamm that you it would only go to the edges. And so if you're on the wrong format like this was at the start, then you just had these edges that you couldn't do anything about. Well, I can now go past that and I'm just here on my magic mouse just showing you how I can slide this up and down or you could be if you're on a trackpad just pinching and squeezing I can actually take that way over the edge of the screen I probably should just point out <laughs> this is the sort of thing I would use when I'm talking in one of my support calls about equipment and I'm just explaining where this feature is on the back of the camera uh, so it's not just a totally random one this is kind of how I would use image overlays on my calls something else I can do with an image like this is notice I've still got this pencil on the side I can do a transition so if I say I want this to fly in from the left then maybe as I'm talking about it I just want this to just adds a bit of animation there if you want that uh, I'm going to turn that off for now now notice that I'm uh, sort of awkwardly working with this and maybe I, I, I want to get out the way of this image as an alternative way to do this if I were to create a new scene I'm now in the scenes tab not in the overlays tab and um, if I just put camera screen, we haven't looked at this really yet, but the source, instead of it being camera, if I choose blank, so we've, we're now starting out with this blank background. Notice that uh, it should be black, but I've set down here in my overlays in uh, showing backgrounds, we've just put this blue image in the background there. And if I were to use that photo again, let's just drag it back in. And maybe I want this to sit over here and I'd like to sit alongside it. What I can do is bring in a camera overlay, which I haven't talked about yet. That's that video is still to come up, but uh, so I won't explain what I'm doing really. But I could now create something like this where I'm sitting over the front of an image that I'm showing. And that might be a nicer way for you to present this. Yeah, so different options on how you can bring in this image to start with uh, it might be as well so maybe instead of this one this was something else we talked about i grabbed some photos this is amy porterfield and we were talking about backgrounds actually slight tangent notice that i've dropped this over the front and it's lost the picture in picture of me behind it it's still there it's just that we drop this layer over the front and it just builds up for whatever is at the front it's going to cover everything behind it so there's different ways that I could work this out. I could either say to this one, send it back. It's going to go right to the back. But notice as well that over here in the overlays, the order that you can see them, the higher in that list is the closer to the front. So the cam link is my camera overlay. So if I put Amy back up here full size and then I grab my camera and I drag it above Amy, then now my video is sitting on the front okay and this one down here just to show you this one down here this was that um, camera display screenshot i can bring that up and that now brings that one to the front okay so the order that i have them in there the higher they are the closer to us they are so as i say we were talking about backgrounds and things in our pro video academy here's another one that i can drop in so if i drop it on here you know what's going to happen now it's going to cover me so how about if I drag it over to the overlays tab and I drop it underneath my camera, now it's going to come in here 
but it's not covering me up. But notice that it doesn't fit to the edges. So let's do that thing again and just widen this out. So I'm just moving that with my magic mouse on here to do this or pinch and scroll. So I can now run through this as if I were doing like a PowerPoint presentation and we're talking away in here. Remember that we can jump between scenes. So I might have, let's take that one off. So this is just me talking and I say, right, let's talk about different backgrounds to your videos. And in this example, I just want to show you Amy Porterfield and notice that she's got this blurred background, da da da. Sofa in the background. I could then change it up over here by Marie Folio. Um, and we talk about this one. So I'm, I'm kind of doing a presentation and uh, this could be slides that I'm bringing up in front of me as individual images, but we're actually just working with image overlays. And what I would probably do more likely is rather than me needing to come down here and try and find the different overlays that I'm working on, if I know that on this one, I've got Amy and let's call that scene Amy, I can then clone that scene and I can call this one Marie. So this one's Amy, this one was cloned down and if I now turn on Marie's one, so notice that I'm running this like a presentation. Can you see now how that using scenes and the overlays together, I'm talking here. I can see that the next scene is called Amy. I can talk about this one. I then come back to Marie and I can see that one. This is how we work. This is called a video overlay. We're going to come to this in a few videos time and uh, I'm able just to work with them like this. So that's images. There are other times where maybe we want to bring a logo in. I did just touch on this one earlier, but uh, I can grab this logo, drag it onto the screen here and again, resize it to fit, pop it wherever I want. And um, there we go. Again, it's an image overlay. You'll see that it's down here in this overlays area and I can turn it on and off from here just like I did the other ones. Now I have another video that explains the current scene and all scenes. So I don't wanna go into that one right here. We'll use this as an example actually with a logo because if I want to jump across to the next one, notice that we've actually lost this logo. Maybe you want that to stay in all the scenes. Uh, so we'll cover that in that future video. What else did I want to show you? Uh, we've got these little memojis that we did. These were pretty funny. You'll see these in the Ecamm Academy. And actually this is where we quite liked having this flying up from the bottom. And so what I could do down here is we were playing with this as the countdown timer goes. You will have seen it if you're in the Academy and uh, at different points when people's comments are coming up on screen, I could just do this little pop-up down here and uh, it's quite fun. We could attach this into the Stream Deck so I can have these set of buttons in front of me with the little icons in front of me. And when I press them, it makes them appear. So I think that's enough to have a play with image overlays. Something else you can do with these image overlays is to crop them as well. So um, let me bring up my Amy picture again and maybe there's something in the image that you don't want. And so I can use the Option key on my keyboard and if I select the edge of it, see how that I can crop that in now. Maybe I just want to frame it this way around and bring it in as a picture. So that's another fairly new feature. So I can grab any of these edges and um, or the corner as well, and I can actually crop it in like this. Lots of options here, aren't there? Now I showed you earlier how I brought this in. This is a camera overlay that we can resize and move around. And uh, I reckon that ought to be the topic for the next video. So why don't you come and join me over here and I'll show you how to bring in a camera overlay.